Good afternoon. My name is Teresa Stack, and I am an assistant professor with Montana Tech at the University of Montana. And today we'll be covering two ergonomic assessment tools. The first one we'll be covering is called RULA, which stands for Rapid Upper Limb Assessment. And the second one we'll cover is called RIBA, which stands for Rapid Entire Body Assessment Tools. So our overview is fairly straightforward. You're going to learn how to conduct both of these analyses and interpret the results. So it's probably really beneficial for you to print off in color the RULA and then the REBA worksheet so you have them in front of you when you're going through the analysis and this way you can follow along with me. RULA, Rapid Upper Limb Assessment Tool, was developed by Dr. Lynn McAtmey and Professor Nigel Corlett, both ergonomists from the University of Nottingham. RULA is a postural targeting tool which estimates risks for work-related upper limb disorders. It's very quick, easy, and systematic, and can be used by just about everyone with a minimal of training. Um, it is it can be done for any tasks, for any task, although it works best for tasks that are highly repetitive. And you can also do them before and after an intervention to demonstrate whether we've actually reduced the risk of injury or not. And so here's an example of what the worksheet looks like. Mm, somewhat complicated, but once we go through it, you'll see it's fairly straightforward. So our first step is to locate the upper arm position and score it. So here, our upper arm position would be from the shoulder to the elbow. And we can see where would you score that. So I'm going to let you decide where you would score that. Are they a plus one, which is no more than 20 degrees deviation forward or back? Are they a plus two, which is more than 20 degrees of deviation backwards or 20 to 45 degrees of deviation forward? A plus three would be 45 to 90 degrees forward and a plus four would be their arms are above 90 degrees. So when you're looking at these different orientations, zero would be the arm is in a different color here. Zero degrees would be the arm is straight down. 20 degrees would be the arm is slightly forward. 45 degrees, the arm is even further forward. And 90 degrees, the upper arm would be completely held out straight in front of the individual with the shoulder straight. So where would you score just the upper arm position for this individual? And I scored it a one because the deviation from here to here is less than 20 degrees. If you scored it differently, then just keep track of that on your sheet. Step two is to locate the lower arm position. The lower arm position is the distance from here to here. And if the arm, if either arm is crossing the midline, meaning they're crossing the body, then we'd add another one. So a plus one would be that neutral posture between 80 and 110 degrees. Plus two would be the lower arm is elevated up above 90 degrees. Where would you rate that posture? And I again rated it a one because the distance from here to here seems between 80 and 100 degrees with zero degrees So our next step 
is we'd like to evaluate the wrist twist st score. So is the wrist flat, flexed forward, extended back, or ulnar or radial deviated? So you're not going to only evaluate step three, the wrist score, but then as well the wrist twist score. And you can evaluate either the right or the left or both hands together at the same time. Now you can see that the wrist is slightly bent forward. What this worker is doing is they're folding towels, so you know that they would bend their wrist forward or flex it forward, not necessarily extend it backwards when they're doing their folding task. And the wrist is twisted there in about midline. It's not really at the range, so they're not completely twisting the wrist um, upside down, but they're twisting it slightly, our wrist twist score. Step five. Oh. 